Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 2 Legendary Edition where once again I have no idea what I'm doing because it's been a bit of a long week. Uh, but yeah, it's um, some stuff's come up, like family stuff and stuff. Um, you know, you know how it goes, ups and downs. Um, so I apologize for not having videos up uh, lately. Also, I am still self-conscious recording in a hotel, <laughs> so it makes it a little more difficult, um, but, oh shoot, we gotta talk to Grunt. Grunt's ready to chat. Grunt's mission's actually one of my favorites. Hopefully our, so I think we finished most, <gasps> yes, that's right, find an Asari missing for the lost locket. I'm not sure where that is, but I think we finished everything. Um, what do we call it? Um, really young. So now I need to figure out what to do next. Who did we get? We should do Zaid's. We should do Zaid's mission. It might be a little late, but um, but we should do that. If you're rooting for Zaid. No. So then he says. Oh, it's oh okay. dang. Our amino acids are all different, so it's not like we can get I think it messed up. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> dang, they have humans. Oh my gosh, I forget how beautiful this game is. Um. Oh, that looks like, um, Ve Vega. Oh my gosh, what's his first name in Mass Effect 3? One of your companions. The biggest himbo in the series. If this is the best, <laughs> like truly, <laughs> I don't but think anybody else beats James. James Vega. Nothing. Nobody beats him out for being a. Oh. Why not? Yeah. No, you don't understand. I lost it somewhere near the transport terminal. It can't be replaced. It's a token from my bondmate. It's the only thing my child has to remember her father by. Please, if you find it. No, I, I, I understand. You didn't keep anything else? Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh. Steve. Up a human. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died. This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Well, that's not that's not the way you bargain. <laughs> it's, this is much less than I would have given the others. Like, I get it. Oh, this was good. This will help me, hopefully, for, um... What's his name? Yes, okay. We are gonna be... Champion? Yes, the Paragon on Renegade scores. And we receive a bonus to buy it a power duration. Power recharging time perk. He's good to be champion. That's my single favorite line in Dragon Age Inquisition. <laughs> that you only hear if you are a warrior and you get a warrior. Like, you have to take the warrior specialization route. <laughs> <laughs> Blasto insults Hanar society. <laughs> oh boy. Those Hanar. Let's go talk to my boy. Run. Let him get his uh, his thing off his chest. And then we will go help Saeed. Who was one of the first well, as he mentions, we got. So is Kasumi. What am I doing? Okay. Commander, you received oh. a new message at your private Thank terminal. You. I heard you down. Ilium? Oh, from Elizabeth. Yeah, I wanted to thank you for helping out Zeus help one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was one of the scientists. We're surviving if barely most of Exogeny left, but I stayed back as an attache to make sure nothing was left of the Thorian. Also, I'm really sorry I shot at you. Just want to reiterate that. You're welcome, you're welcome. From Detective Anya. I'm not completely sure this will get to you, but thanks again for helping me deal with Samara. The Eclipse Mercs have gotten real quiet around here. My superiors have backed off too. No idea if the two are related, but hopefully the next time I meet Jessica, I can give her the respect she deserves. I still can't believe I worked a case with one of them. You're a lucky human. If I find any more data on her target, I'll pass it along. Um, you didn't really get to work with her. You tried to arrest her. 
Um, front. Front, front, front. Shepard, I need something to talk to you. I don't know. Mm, I'm listening. What's the issue? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. I mean, that feels normal. More so than mm. usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. Please don't break my ship. See, why do that? What's wrong? I think usually he's actually been under, he's had pretty good control of himself. Like most Krogan, I mean, not most Krogan, I guess, but like sometimes the way the Krogan are portrayed is like, you know, mindless killers and they perhaps enjoy it more than other species. But usually they have some sort of control over it and uh, he's having a hard time with that. Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords, but this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus, but here my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. <laughs> I'm tank-born. What is this? Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Junka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control well, this. I would love to go to Chichanka. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. So, I am going to spoil it a tiny bit, but it's really funny when you realize that this is just Krogan puberty. <laughs> Poor Grunt's going through puberty, and none of us know what Krogan puberty is like. <laughs> we don't even know to call it that. <laughs> Let's see what this is going on over here. Anyway, it's really hilarious. I've got green across the board. The forward tanks are buoyant and elevated. Are you talking about the Normandy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about the one that's covered and protected, not bouncing in the <laughs> I don't know. Operative Lawson's uniform is very official. It always makes me stand at attention. You're such a dog. <laughs> he really is. And the fact that they... I don't think her suit's that bad, honest. Like, I mean, it is kind of. But, like, I don't know. Kasumi's isn't much better. You know, I don't know why I'm going in here. Wait, Tetali? Liara? They just make a really big deal out of Miranda's. It is, there is a little something to it, though, where you're like, hmm, something's a little off. Um, I didn't acquire anybody, so I don't need to talk to any. <gasps> Wait, what am I doing? I need to talk to Miranda. We just did our mission, and I haven't talked to her yet. <sighs> I'm so sorry, Miranda. Let's have a chit chat. Thanks again, Shepard. Taking the time to help me with my sister. I couldn't have reached Ariana in time without your help. I'm glad Niket tried to redeem himself. For what good it did. Thank you for stopping me, Commander. I knew you'd regret it. Um... Uh... Sounds like you had a soft spot for Niket after all. I didn't have many friends. Niket was one of them. He never wanted anything from me. He was safe, comfortable. A reminder of a more innocent time, I suppose. Well, this is the weird thing when they were trying to like show Miranda off as this like sex idol. Is that she's a woman who's like dealing with these like traumas and stuff, and like a lot of people are, but like they're like. It's so weird to have, like, a very cool, calm, collected, professional woman who's, like, you know, going through some stuff, and you're helping her with it, you know? And then they do the weird butt pan shots, which luckily we don't have in this game anymore. You have to get a mod, which, of course, is one of the first mods that was made, was to get the butt shots back in. 
but still like the way that like the camera tried to look at Miranda versus how she was written and portrayed was just really weird there was like a weird discrepancy there and some guys were like super weird about it <laughs> are you happy about your sister's relocation she has what I wanted her to have a normal life and the freedom to choose her own path and she knows she has an older sister a friend <laughs> Are you gonna talk to her again? I honestly don't know. For once, I haven't planned that far ahead. I'll deal with it after our mission. I have to stay focused, and she needs time to adjust to her new You home. underestimate her, honestly. You never told me what you talked about. I introduced myself. Her family was shocked. She adjusted quickly, of course. She's as smart as I am. She plays the violin, loves the adagio movement of Nielsen's fifth, just like I do. <laughs> she wants to work in colony development told a joke about it. She's really funny. It's something we don't share. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I don't know, I definitely get more sentimental about this, I think, as I get a little older. Because I have younger sisters. I have many younger sisters. Some that are significantly younger than me. So it's like, you know, I'm just like, live your best lives, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Let me know if I can do anything else. Let me know, she says. I think I got tea posing her way in. My father has no chance at finding her family in their new location. But thank you, Commander. My sister is safe again, thanks in large part to you. I won't forget that. Ooh, I also need to get my paragon up and not do too much renegade because there's a Miranda Jack moment that happens. I need to get my paragon way up. Up above that third line. I'm sorry, the fourth line. Pretty sure that's where it needs to be. Well, not even, because like I said before, it's a percentages thing, right? So I try to definitely keep me below that on the orange, on the renegade. I try to keep it way, like, this is as high as I want to go. I'm probably not going to do any more renegade actions, because um, you don't, I do not want to get very high, because I definitely want to do paragons stuff because it's like you know based on like like the fractional percentage stuff or whatever <laughs> excuse me now we can go 10 minutes or so in my fish should be fine Zaid Zaid. Let's see, I remember last time I did bring Thane and Zaid, and I'm pretty sure it went alright. Actually, really quick, let me do this. I will I will be right back. Okay, just completed the system mining. And now we will go. Oh shoot. It's right here. I need to remember what Firewalker's about. That's also in the system. Nope, Zaid. Okay, we'll be back, system. Aquila. I remember the system. I just remember the name. And here's where fuel comes into play. If you're smart, unlike me right there, you can coast in. I'm gonna... Really quick. Oh, oh shoot. Look at this. It's got a population and everything. Warfare. Hmm. I really do worry that that's gonna happen in the future. I read too many sci-fi books with like governments essentially being replaced by corporations, and it sounds like just a terrible situation. <laughs> the Blue Suns. That's important. Enjoy a home team advantage. Oh, it's a poor planet, and it's pretty, but I'm not gonna bother scanning it. Oh dang, this is the home planet. Yeah, that's what we were seeing before. Spectacular jungle zones. Home planet of the blue sun. Despite persistent problems with rot and rust. Resource rich. <laughs> they dominate security contracts so much that residents describe them less like a monopoly and more like a conquering regime. Yeah. 
Not sure how important that stuff is to include. We'll see. Just got some upgrades from the... There, there they are. You see them. I don't even know how long we're going to be able to do. So we need say... I did bring Thane last time. Bias it is. Sniper rifle, submachine gun, sniper rifle, battle rifle. My trusty missile launcher. Yep, yep. Let's go. Let's get this loyalty. You ready? What a badass. He's so scary looking. He says he basically we're here for um what let's just let's check let's just make yeah. Before he was hired by Cerberus, taking a mission to go to Zora and liberate then L the refinery. Once this work is done that that's right, he had a previous contract. We are liberating from Tapping the Blue Sun's communications. Stay tight and look out for ambushes. How can you do that? Oh, -ho. this is our first time, I think, being on a planet that's not um, Bravo. main mission. A shuttle landed near your location. Check it out. Here we go. Keep close. Shot in the back and left to rot. Definitely veto style. Let's push ahead. Oh. I don't know how much he said about how much background he has in here, but he's definitely got some blue sun's background. If you can't you could see it on the cutscene. But for those who don't know, he has a blue sun there it is. He has a blue sun's tattoo on the side of his neck. Dang that monkey. See anything? I can't aim. I don't want any of it, anybody to see this. Come back. Look at friggin'. He looks like he's hip firing. Clean kill. Oh dang. Go in peace. I love. Things, things, says. Reinforcements incoming. What the? We got your backs. What? Look at me. Look like he's just hip firing at me. Can't see. Oh, there's people. Oh, jeez. Shields. Oh, I killed her just nice. Nice, nice. Alright, switch to weapons. 
Yes. Oh, I'm thinking about it. Oh. Oh, okay, good. He's already got it up. Is, is this... I'm lost. I've only done this mission twice. Ooh. Money. Money, money, money. I don't, I don't know how to get up there. Or out. Or in. Oh, is this? Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> I thought this was a dead end. I'm an idiot. Hey, look at that handsome this man. Sounds like he hasn't changed. I get the feeling you have a past with this, Vito. I knew he was a sadistic bastard back when we started the Blue Suns. The Suns only got meaner after he staged his little coup 20 years ago. So, yeah, we have a past. <clears throat> Why didn't anyone tell me you founded the Blue Suns? Because it's not common knowledge. Vito wiped me out of the records. He ran the books, I led the men. Worked real well for a while. Then Vito decided to start hiring Batarians. Cheaper labor, he said. Goddamn terrorists, I said. Mm. Uh, also, I actually really do like bringing Thane on this mission specifically for that reason is that there's some really nice cutscenes in this game for the second, in this mission for the second companion. So, woohoo! Also, it just seems, I don't know, like you bring an assassin to help you take down a mercenary group, you know? Like, I don't know, it works, it works in my head. I don't have to justify anything. Twenty years is a long time to hold a grudge. A grudge? Mm. Vito turned my men against me. He paid six of them to restrain me while he put a gun to my head and pulled the trigger. For twenty years, I've seen that bastard every time I closed my eyes. Every time I sighted down on a target. Every time I heard a gunshot, don't you call that a goddamn grudge? See, and this is the see, see, these cutscenes are particularly nice because when Zaid gets a little bit angry, it's like Thane's watching, right? And it's I like it's, it doesn't matter who it is, right? Like they do the same thing, but like Thane only turns away after Zaid's kind of like backed off a bit, and I really love that. And it, again, it, it's anybody that you bring, but it's extra nice for me when it's Thane. <laughs> You survived a gunshot to the head? Yeah. And you survived your ship getting disintegrated. A stubborn enough person can survive just about anything. Sounds like a bad... Rage is a hell of an anesthetic. It, uh... <laughs> it sounds like uh, whoever Vito... Vito... Um, doesn't know how to shoot very well, apparently. Which makes sense, since he apparently ran the books. Uh, doesn't know how to shoot so that you kill somebody when you put the gun to their head better get moving also i was put back together by like it was like two billion credits or something to bring me back to life in two years what did you have All squads mess at the gatehouse now they know we're here bring it on you son of a bitch oh so and so this is interesting to note that he didn't know Vito was in charge of this particular operation he just got this operation I'm pretty sure. See, that's a Batarian. They all sound the same. There's probably some good Batarians out there, but, um... They're kind of hard to find, honestly. Zaid Masani. Mm. You finally tracked me down. Traitor! Vito. Don't be stupid, Zaid. I have a whole company of bloodthirsty bastards behind me, ready to kill or be killed on my command. Kill or be killed. Actually, take your shot. Give my men a reason to put you down like the mad dog you are again. He sounds like a flirt. What was that? Gone nearsighted old friend. Burn you, son of a bitch. <laughs> Like, he sounds like... You just signed your death warrant, Masani. He sounds like he has feelings for Zaid, kind of. Like, he doesn't sound like he's threatening him. What the hell are you doing? Sounds like he wants him. 
in my mind. Or like he's trying to... Opening the game. Ha ha ha. He's doing a bad job at, um, the guy up there who's doing a bad job at sounding intimidating. It's basically what I'm getting at. <laughs> we don't sacrifice lives for the sake of the mission. There's always a better way. Like what? Wandering out in the jungle for hours looking for another way in. You want to waste time out here? Go ahead. I'm gonna kill Vito. <laughs> You're endangering lives and the mission for your own selfish revenge. You really want to do this, Shepard? Mm -hmm. I ought to knock you the hell out. Thanks to you, we have a burning refinery to save. Let these people burn. Vito dies. Whatever the cost. It's not the mission, dude. Like, our mission was to help the refinery people. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure that was our original mission. Oh, you're already dead. Like, I think the, the refinery people got... Um, right? Oh my gosh, what have you done? What have you done? Man, now I can't remember if it was the refinery people who got enough money together to ask Zaid to help them, you know, crawl out from under the thumb of the Blue Suns. Yeah, it had to have been, because the Blue Suns wouldn't have contacted him to try to, um, like, put down the refinery people, because he'd do either mission. He seems to have some sort of code of honor, in some ways. Like, he doesn't really, I don't know. I don't know. Like he's like he, he's like I have standards. I won't hire Batarians. I'm like that's racist. <laughs> but to be fair, the Batarians portrayed in this game aren't nice people. They're the only people out here that do slavery still. Oh hi. Help! We're trapped. We can't get to the gas valve to shut them off. The whole place is gonna blow. No time. Vito's probably halfway to the shuttle docks by now. This not that's not the mission, my dude. You're willing to watch these people die? Damn right I am. We stop to help these people and Vito gets away. And if he gets away, I'm blaming you. Oh shoot, I actually would have I don't know. Let me double check this. That's what I was like, I knew there's a way. Okay, so there is a way to do this. I had to double check, but I knew. So you can, you can um, do the Paragon option, um, and what that does is leave Zaid's um, loyalty up to a Paragon check later on, like a loyalty check at the later on at the end of the mission, where like you have to hope you have a good enough percentage of Paragon Renegade that you can get his loyalty back, which I've done before, um, like last time with him, because um, I don't like. That. This one, like, sometimes renegade options are pretty good, but this one, like, on Shepard has no, you know what I mean? She, like, she gets it, like, revenge and all that, but she's not gonna let these refinery workers, like, my Shepard's not gonna let these refinery workers die for revenge, you know? Like, I mean, she gets it, but, like, she's not gonna do that, so. Let's just hope I can keep Zaid around this time. We're here to free these people. We're going in. And that's the, that's the mission we came here for. I knew this was a mistake. If we're gonna do this, we'd better get to it. You didn't know this was a mistake. This was your job that you asked me to help you with. Also, why can't we just give them some rope? Or rappel down. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. I guess, uh, so yes, we get 15 pair going for good. I'm gonna call this one here. Haha, <laughs> let's hope that. Because I like Zaid a lot. Truly, even though he's a very gray spectrum morality, I like him. <laughs> um, so hopefully we can keep his loyalty. But thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Really quick, I wanna say thank you to my patrons. Um, to all my patrons, but to especially my Sapling Tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. And I wanna say an extra special thank you to Christopher, who's a tree tier uh, patron, who is the super bestest. And thank you so, so much for all your support and I swear I'll get to the comments hopefully tonight. I'm very behind. Again, I'm sorry um, for everybody. <laughs> um, but yes, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.